I'm back here inside. Sorry about the late cut. My camera battery, or uh, the memory card just got full up. So I'm going to continue on my iPad. Good integration. Here we are with the uh, analog dial, speedo, tachometer, and your information here letting you know if the car is going to explode because of heat or not, and your gas gauge. So as I come in, the first thing that I notice at all is this thing. Honestly, the first time I came in here, it looked like the Corolla's armrest, and I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to hit my elbow on this again, and it's going to hurt. But no, it looks exactly the same, and it's extremely soft and padded, and leads me to believe why in the world is the Corolla have the same looking material and just as hard as a rock. Just make it soft. It's got. It can't cost you that much. It was so agonizingly just stupid of them to put something hard like that in. But they do it right here. It's nice and soft because your elbows go there. On this side, you have nice cloth. Not as soft, but you know it's better than putting your arm on hard plastic. Hard plastic again. Don't like it here. Liked it on the FJ Cruiser because it needed it. Hard plastic wherever you look. Even though it's grained, it's still hard plastic. I don't. Just, Yep, my knee's gonna get hurt there. Just keep on knocking into it. Anyway, let's continue on. Inside here, good space, good enough space here. Uh, one of my favorite things, I'm gonna move over to the uh, glove box quickly. You have your basic glove box, and of course, Toyota has the top glove box, but this one's especially cool. Open close, all you need to do is just tap it, and it opens up. Not much space in there, but enough to put an MP3 player, phone, that's fine. And then close. I think that's extremely cool, but pointless. Now this is really a good idea. Not that the mirror adjusters are in the middle, which is not cool. But I guess I don't have space over here for it. But that my phone fits perfectly right here. It just sits. Of course, right behind it's your USB auxiliary port for your iPod and any MP3 player. But I just like how it sits there. If anything, I can get a notification, just look at it, you know, know that it's there, and it has easy access to it. And it just sits. Cup holders, nook for space. Little nook right here for change and everything. You know I like that. There's to lock. There's your AC control, traction control off charging any of your little things. It's nice. Sound system is stock in here, so it doesn't sound that good. FM, AM, no HD, no satellite in this one. It does have Bluetooth, hands free talking, but it has the button over here. Nothing over here. I think it should be standard if you have Bluetooth. You have something on the wheel, not just a display button that changes this. So when, I, when I hit this, that changes. Yeah, you know, it's just information. Volume controls, but again, don't waste time with this. Put that over here or something. Put a Bluetooth hands-free button here, because that's what you're there for. Not to grab and reach over there. So, let me go in the back seat. My seat was pushed up comfortably so I can drive, so let's see how much space there is back here. nice. Um, if you heard the door closing, it sounds nice from the inside. It sounds a little tinny from the outside, just to let you know. I like the styling on it, but again, hard plastics and not really much padding under the cloth. But the seats feel okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And as you can see, you can recline them a little bit here. Let me pull back. So you can take a nice little nap, and it'll be okay. There's your uh, pull cords, you can put this whole thing down. Uh oh. I'm currently putting the seat down while I'm sitting in it, which was not a smart idea, because now I can't put it back because I have to have one hand on the iPad. But a uh, little baby seat for a small person, reclining seats, and it's nice, nice space back here. Nothing special. And there is your trunk cup holder, cup holder, so you're good. So let me come outside, turn the engine off.
And that's just about it. This has been Matt, and I've been reviewing a 2012 Toyota RAV4, and this is the uh, generation right before they're going to refresh it this September for the 2013s. So if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Comment under here. Find me on Facebook or Twitter. Subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Watch all my videos. Watch them ten times. But that's my review, and I'll see you all next time.